You're watching the award-winning GHS TV, a nationally recognized student television station. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of GHS TV's award-winning talk show, Crosstalk. I'm your host, Jemiah Chase. Each week in this time slot, we take a look at different issues, personalities, and events that affect you and our community. With the 2019 school year just beginning, young scholars around Memphis are entering the next chapter of their lives by heading to college. In this episode, we are taking a closer look at some of Memphis's state-of-the-art medical program trainings, the next generation of doctors and specialists. The Southwest Tennessee Community College was created from a merger between the former Shelby State Community College and the State Technical Institute at Memphis. Since then, it has been ranked in the top 100 associate degree producer for total minorities in business operations. Here's an inside look at what all Southwest has to offer. Good afternoon, future Shabukis. On behalf of Southwest, I chose Southwest to find my path, to train for my career, to achieve my dreams, put him on a non rebreather of 15 liters a minute, to transform my life. Southwest is your best choice. Enroll today. The Allied Health Sciences program at STCC incorporates a multitude of skills and subjects that fully prepare students to be versatile in the medical field after graduation. I'm here now with Dr. Osborne Burks, head of the Allied Health Sciences Department, and Dr. Marilyn Wilborn, who specializes in Southwest nursing program. Dr. Burke and Dr. Wilborn, thank you both for being here today. Thank you for having us, Jemaya. Thank you so much. Dr. Burke, yes, I went over what your program was about in the introduction. Can you tell us more about it? Well, I can say this. Now is exciting times to be at Southwest because the Department of Allied Health, as well as Nursing and Natural Sciences, we are laser focused on producing people for the job market. And we have several programs. We have the radiology technology program, that's a, that's a uh, degree program. We have the physical therapist assistant program that is also degreed. And we have the medical laboratory technician program, that's another degree program, followed with four, three or four other uh, certificate programs, depends upon how you meet them. If you call it EMT, emergency medical technology program, along with the paramedics, we count that as one program, but you advance to the next one, that one's a certificate program. The pharmacy technician program is a certificate program as well. And we have the laboratory phlebotomy program is also a certificate program. Well, you have a very competitive program. What kind of students are admitted? Well, we get mostly high school students from all ages. But, you know, once high school, and then we get some who want to come back to school. So we get from various ages. It's multicultural uh, program. We open access. So all our schools and all of our students come from all over the community. Dr. Wilborn, you have an outstanding nursing program. Can you describe it? Yes, um, we have, we um, have, a, we, our program offers an Associate of Applied Science degree. We have two um, for, we have two tracks. We have the generic track and the LPN mobility track. The LPN track offers, um, students who, um, who are already practicing LPNs to come and uh, pursue their RN degree. Um, our generic track program allows students who have no nursing background to come in and um, pursue their RN degree. And on the horizon, we also, um, for January 2020, we plan to um, start our uh, paramedic to RN program as well. What makes your nursing program stand out from the rest? Um, what makes our nursing program stand out for the rest is that we um, we are we focus on um, 
success. We want to make sure that our students are prepared to um, go out in the field and practice as professional nurses. So we. Um, we make sure that we try to have small class sizes. We make sure that we try to have, um, um, make sure we um, teach students to be inquisitive about their learning. So they won't just be task oriented. We want to make sure that they are um, able to go on. We try to make sure they are prepared and encourage them to go on to seek higher degrees, to get their bachelor's degree, get their uh, master's degree, and also come back and serve at um, Southwest or in, in the community. That's our goal is to make sure that we prepare our students to go out and um, play an active role in the community. Well, what are some of the classes that nursing students take? Some classes that nursing students take um, in the nursing program is a special admissions um, program. So we do have, you don't have to have any prereqs to enter the program. You can come in, but we are indexed. That's, that's one of the things, we do use an indexing system. But the, in the nursing program, we have foundations, which is the um, foundational um, class that everybody takes if they come in. We have dosage, dosages and solutions, which is a math um, course that teaches um, the student how to um, give medications and the importance of giving the right dose at the right time to the right patient. Um, we also have our adult health um, course. We have a um, mental health, which I te currently teach in a mental health course, didactic and clinical. We have um, pediatrics. We have um, in um, our OB course, which is our obstetri obstetrics and gynecology course that we have for our students. So that's in the program. We have, we cover all um, areas of nursing to make sure that our students can um, be, get out and perform as a novice professional nurse. Dr. Burke, what about health science classes? Well, it depends upon which particular program you're speaking of. For example, if you're in pharmacy, you will take the uh, intro to pharmacy operations. You take pharmacology and therapeutics. You would take uh, seminar. If you're in basic EMT, you would take all of those classes that will pre pre propel one to become a first responder. And then from there, you would advance to the basic, and you go to advance to ultimately lead you to becoming a paramedic. And that's the individual who ultimately is the ER on the, the mobile ER. So when something happens and they're in direct contact with physicians to make sure you get the best care. So it depends upon which particular program you're speaking of. Can you talk about the hands-on experience students gain from your program? Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, I can. We have all of our programs, first of all, are accredited, nationally accredited programs, which means that we must provide what we call interns, sometimes externships, and then sometimes they call clinicals to each one of our uh, uh, participants. As she says in her nursing programs, uh, we do that with the basic EMT, we do it with the paramedics, we do it with the pharmacy technicians, we do it with the physical therapist assistants, we do it with the radiologic technologists. So every, all of our programs require the uh, 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 hands-on experiences. Can you talk about hands-on in your nursing program, Dr. Wilborn? Sure. Um, hands-on our nursing program, part of our program that we must have a clinical component to each one of our courses. So, um, for example, um, in mental health, as I teach mental health, we, um, we go to some of the um, mental health areas, uh, facilities in the area. We um, also do some community service um, um, awareness um, projects for the students to do some service learning. Um, all of ours are hands-on. We have to go into the clinical setting. So we go into the hospitals, we go into the um, nursing homes, we go into other um, facilities so to make sure that our students are actually practicing what we are teaching them. We can talk about it in the classroom, but we have to make sure that our students are able to perform these skills when they are when they go into the um, professional role as, their, as a nurse. Dr. Burke, can yes. you tell us about some of the types of degrees and certificates that students can receive? Well, yes. Um, there's an Associate of Applied Science. There's a, uh, the, the, for certificates, I mean for degrees. Then there's the uh, certification in basic EMT, certification in advanced, certification in paramedics, certif certification in, uh, uh, in pharmacy technician. Those are our certificates. And then our degree programs depend upon which area. For example, if it's a medical laboratory technician, those are two-year degrees. And so those are associate degrees. Why do you think that health sciences 
are so important today? Well, I'll tell you because truthfully, baby boomers are getting older. We're getting older. And uh, we were a large part of the population. So the demand is there, and Southwest is willing to meet that demand. We're here to meet that demand. All of our programs are, like I said, nationally accredited, but we are also sought after. And because we have a great reputation for producing good, great allied healthcare professionals. Dr. Wilborn, can you talk about the nursing program as it relates to why it's so important? Why is it so important? Um, nursing is, again, as I piggyback on him, um, it's a need for nursing. There's a great shortage of nurses. Um, so we are, we are eager to um, make sure we can close the gap um, somewhat in that demand. So we are, um, like we are accredited by ASIN, um, which means we meet, we have exceeded the, the bar. You know, ten, our, our um, governing body is the Tennessee Board of Regents. So they say that, you know, you don't have to be accredited to be a, or be a nursing program. But being accredited means that we have set this, you know, we have like set this bar and we have reached, met that bar that would mean we have the, uh, set the bar for the quality of nursing to prepare quality nursing students. So we want to make sure that we can close the gap um, by by um, continuing to um, provide excellent um, educational um, opportunities for our students, especially students in the community, and by um, increasing um, increasing the availability of students to be able to come into our program and constantly um, changing how we teach constantly. Um, being able to uh, modify that and um, just make sure that we're doing our part to um, kind of um, reach the job market, you know, make sure that we are reaching the job market and, and making sure we, we are um, doing the things that we need to do for that need. What can students receive from graduating from Southwest, Dr. Burke? Well, you mean in terms of, uh, well, well, I guess you mean general, besides the degree, they'll get the satisfaction of knowing that they came from an institution that is laser focused on their success. We do everything to prepare our students. As I told you earlier, our students are sought after in the medical, in, in the medical areas. Uh, in fact, in other areas too, we, we go from, from every, we, we expand the gamut. We offer, we have seven different locations for students to, 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 to matriculate. But what you can mostly receive is the satisfaction of knowing that you came from a quality, you had a quality, obtained a quality education. That's what you can. And we, we work hard, the both of us and everyone else there at Southwest, that's what we do every day. We come to make sure that we prepare our students because we know that they are representing us. And we want them to do that, and we want them to do that quite well. Well, Dr. Burke and Dr. Wilborn, thank you both so much for being here with us today. Thank you for having us. We thank appreciate you. So you. Much. Appreciate, we appreciate the opportunity. Visit southwest.tn.edu backslash Allied Health if you would like to learn more about the Allied Health Sciences or the nursing program. I hope you enjoyed this episode and will continue to explore other top-notch colleges around the Memphis area. Remember, Crosstalk can be seen each week at 9.30 a.m. and 7 p.m. on Mondays and Thursdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 2 a.m., and 12 p.m. and 7 p.m. on Sundays. For more information on our programming, please check us out on the web at ghstv.org, where we are streaming live 24 hours a day. You can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Jemiah Chase. From all of us at GHS TV, Thank you for watching Crosstalk, and I hope to see you again.